Hi, I'm Zach Farmer with Examiner.com. Gonzaga and BYU play each other for the first time since the third round of the NCAA tournament last year and for the first time this year's conference mates. BYU absolutely needs this win, but the big question is can they get it? They've really started to slide, losing two straight to St. Mary's and two in a row at home at the Marriott Center. They've lost three games at home this season, the most under head coach Dave Rose, and they do not have a win against a top 50 RPI team. For them to be successful, they are going to have to get their guards going and productive early in this game. That means Zilstra, Carlino, and Winder are really going to have to come through and produce for the Cougars. And the same goes for Gonzaga. For them to be successful, their guards have to be good. So Carter, Stockton, Bell have to and company have to be able to produce quickly and often if Gonzaga is going to be successful in this game. For Gonzaga, it means a little bit less because they can actually afford to lose and st because they still play St. Mary's one more time. They've played a very strong out-of-conference schedule, so as far as the tournament goes, they don't need it. But if they want to stay in the WCC race and keep pace with St. Mary's, they are going to need this win, especially considering they will see the Gales head-to-head -head next Thursday. St. Mary's got the big notice this week on Monday that they will be facing undefeated Murray State in the ESPN Bracket Busters. They also face Gonzaga next Thursday and only play one game this week and that's against San Diego. So you almost could see very easily that St. Mary's might overlook this San Diego team, but that's not something that they can afford to do and nor do I think they will. San Diego has played well over the past month despite their 3-6 and six record in conference. And the biggest part to slowing San Diego down is to stop Johnny D. D lit up the Gales last time in San Diego, and St. Mary squeaked out an eight-point win at the Jenny Craig Pavilion. This time around, in McEwen, they can't afford to let D run wild or anything else, and it's been proven time and time again by other teams. Slow down Johnny D, you have a much better chance to win. If the Gales can do that, they should roll to their victory tonight in Moraga. Also on the Thursday slate, Pepperdine wraps up its LMU series with its final game in LA. Both teams are looking for their second straight win, and LMU can take over sole possession of third place with a win and a BYU loss. LMU also needs to win to stay ahead of USF, which is only one and a half games behind the Lions, and the two face each other this Saturday. Also, Portland travels to Santa Clara to take on the Broncos, who are still searching for their first win in the 2012 season. For Examiner.com, I'm Zach Farmer.